the best recitals I've heard <coughs> of Tana Shanta in the 25 years that I've been kicking about with Burns. I give you Denny. When Chapman fillies thee the street and through the neighbours, neighbours meet, I mark it days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the bait. While we sit boozing at the nappy, getting fooer than ca happy, we think nah at the long Scots miles. The mosses, waters, slaps and styles that lay between us and our home where sits our sulky, sullen dame gathering her brows like gathering storm nursing her wrath to keep <coughs> warm. This truth and honest Tam O'Shanta, as he, the air I night did canter, all dare clam their tunes a prattles, for honest men and bonny lasses. Ah, oh, Tam, hast they been so wise, <coughs> and tain thy ain wife Kate's advice? She told thee well, how was us? Kill him, a blithering, blustering, drunken bellum. That fe November to October, I mark it day, thou was nae sober. That Elka Melder with a miller, thou sat as lang as thou had cellar, and every neg was kid a shoon. The smith and thee got roaring fun, and at the Lord's house, e'en on Sunday, thou drank with Kurt and Jean <coughs> on Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in doon or catched with warlocks in the murk by Alloway's old haunted kirk. Oh, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened <coughs> sage advises the husband for the wife despises. But to your tale I mark at night, Tam caught planted and carried, fast by an ingle, pleasing finely, were reaming swats that drank divinely. And at his elbow, Suter Johnny, his ancient trusty Druthy crony, Tam left him like a very brother. They had been foo for weeks together. The night, brave arm, was signs and clatter, and a high tail was growing better. <coughs> the landlady and Tam grew gracious with secret favours, sweet and precious. The suitor taught his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh, ho oh, ho, oh, was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tam didn't mind a storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man say happy. He drowned himself among the nappy. As bees free hain with loads of treasure, the minutes winged our way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious. Are the ills a life victorious? But pleasures 
are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white then melts forever. Or like the borealis rays that flit ere you can point their place. <coughs> or like the rainbow's lovely form, if vanishing amid the storm. Nae man can feather time nor tide, the hour approaches, time mourn died. That hour of night's dark <coughs> heart, the keystone. That weary hour he mounts his beast in, and sick a night he tacks the road in, as near a poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as to had blown its last. The rattling showers rose on the bast. The speedy gleams, the darkness swallowed. Loud, deep and lang, the thunder bellowed. That night, a child might understand. The deal had business in his hand. We mounted on his grimmer meg, a better <laughs> never lifted leg. Tam scalp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst hodding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scot sonnet, <coughs> whilst clearing round where prudent cares, <gasps> lest boggles catch him unawares. Kirk Calloway was drawing my where geists and poets mightn't cry. <clears throat> By this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snow the chapman's moored, and past the burk and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie <coughs> breaks neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters found the murdered bairn, and near the thorn aboon the well, where Mungo's mother <coughs> hanged herself. Before him, Doon paws all oh, his flood. The doubling storm roars through the woods. The lightnings crash from pole to pole. More and more near the thunders roll. When, glimmering through the groaning trees, <gasps> Kirk Calloway seem it in a breeze. Through El Cabor, the beams were glancing. A loud resounded mirth. Dancing? Inspiring bold, John Barleycorn. What dangers thou canst make us scorn? What tuppany ale? Ha, we fear no evil. We ask a bay. Swats, they reamed in Tammy's noddle. Fair play, he cared my deal's a bottle. But Maggie stood right sail astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward into the light. And wow, Tam saw an unca sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance. Nay, cotty off, Brent new fi France. But hornpipes, jigs, strathspeys, and reels, put life and metal in their heels. <coughs> A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape a beast. A toosy, tired, dark, grim, and large. To give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them scurl, to roof and rafters all did durl. Coffins stood round like open presses that showed the deed in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able. A note upon the hayley table, 
I'm a daughter's beans and gibbet irons. Twa, span lang, we unchristened bairns. A thief, no cutting for a rape. Well, his last gasp, oh, it gabbed a gape. Five tomahawks were blood red messing. Five scimitars were murdered. A garter which a babe had strangled. A knife a feather's throat had mangled. Whom his aim son had life bereft. The grey hairs that stuck to the head. We mere a terrible and awful, which e'en to name would be unlawful. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper louder and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they clicked, till Elka Carlin. Oh, swat and reek it. <laughs> and cusp her duddies to the wark. And lick it at it in her sack. <laughs> oh, Tam! Oh, Tam! Had they been queens? A plump and strapping in their teens? Their sarts, instead of greasy flannin, been snow white, 1700 linen. Dear freaks of mine, my angry pair, the ants were plush, a good deal hair. I would have gain off a hardies, for I blink at a bonny birdies. But withered beldams, old and droll, ringwoody hags would spin a fall. Oh, looping and flinging on a crimmock. Oh, I wonder if they turn their stomach. But Tam, what was what? Boo, Bolly. There was ain winsome wench and Wally that night enlisted in their corps. Lang after Kent on Carrick shore, where mony a beast a deed she shot, and perished mony a bonny boat, and shook faith Michael Corn and Beer, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sack. A paisley harm, but while a lassie she had one. In longitude, though, sorely scanty. It was her best, and she was vanty. <laughs> ah, little ken thy reverend granny. <coughs> that sark she croft for her wee nanny. With two pence scuts was all her riches. Was ever a grace to dance a witches. But Hear my muse, her wing mon tower. Sick frights are far beyond her power. To sing how nanny lap and fly, <coughs> a supple judge she was, <coughs> and strong. How Tammy stood like ain bewitched, and thought his very een enriched. Even Satan glowered and fidgeted through fain, and hawked and blew a might and main, till first I came person another. Tam! Tint his reason all together, and roars out, Well done, Cutty Sack! And in an instant all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees flew out with angry flight, when plundering hordes assailed her by, and often pussies bore to foes, when pop she starts before the nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when, Catch the thief! resounds aloud, so Maggie runs, the witches follow, with mony an eldritch screech and holler. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, thou get thy fairin in hell, they'll roast thee like a herrin. In vain, thy Kate awaits thy coming. Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystain of the brig. For there, at them, thy thy tail may toss, a running stream, they dare not cross. But here the keystain could she make, the fainter tail she had to shake. For Nanny, 
far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little was she Maggie's mettle, in spring bought off her master hail, but left behind her own grey tail. The Carlin clotter by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, wa this tale of truth shall read, Elk man and mother's son take heed. Whene'er to drink you are inclined, or cutty sarks run through your mind, think. Ye may buy the joys o'er dear, and remember Tam O'Shanta's mere.